If you're running low on GTA Online money and need to make some cash for the upcoming gun running DLC, then make sure to check out App Bounty in the description below. It's a free and easy way to get your hands on shark cards by downloading and playing games. Once again, link in description. What are you doing, Franklin? He's doing donuts. What are you doing, buddy? What is that? What? You gotta calm down. You gotta calm down, man. Wait for your episode. There we go. Trevor's now walking, guys. So I'm gonna get inside my car and now we're gonna follow him. That's all we're gonna do. And we're just gonna see exactly what he gets up to. And we're gonna see what happens when we swap over to Franklin when everyone starts piling in on Trevor. And we're gonna see if Trevor will then turn into a maniac or whether Trevor will run away, away from anyone trying to get him. So comment in the comment section below what you think Trevor's gonna do. I wasn't expecting that. And now we're looking at Trevor and he's just sitting in the hairdressers waiting to get his hair cut. This is amazing. I can't believe Trevor is doing this. Dude, stop. If you would like to get your hands on a brand new Xbox One or PlayStation 4 for absolutely free, then click the link in the description below to my huge giveaway. Good luck and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort and today what we're going to do is something pretty interesting and I've seen this in the comments over the past two weeks or so to do this one particular idea, kind of like a three-part series and this is to follow each protagonist in GTA 5 and the most requested idea I've seen from you guys is to follow Trevor. I mean obviously for those of you guys who understand Trevor in GTA, I'm really not surprised why you guys want me to follow this guy. So this is the first thing we're going to do in today's video. We're going to follow Trevor in GTA 5. We're going to see exactly what he gets up to and we're just gonna see what he does when we're not using him which is something no one's done before and I can imagine we're going to uncover so many secrets to do with the character and of course guys before we get into things I just want to say if you could be ever so kind enough to smash that thumbs up button it would be greatly appreciated let's try and smash our goal of 5,000 likes guys I know we can do it and another reason why I think using Trevor is just gonna be hilarious is because I'm pretty sure if anyone has played GTA 5 and played a bit of story mode you will understand understand that at random times if you do swap to Trevor then he'll be doing something crazy. For example he might be in a police chase, he might be in an alleyway lying down on the floor, he might have just been sleeping on a train track. Like he gets up to some really crazy stuff and by simply following the character when we're not using him I can imagine we're going to encounter what crazy stuff he actually does and this could give us an insight into Trevor himself. So this is going to be interesting, I can't wait to get into things. Like I said if you guys do enjoy this video smash that thumbs up button. But but more importantly guys, if you want to comment in the comments section below exactly what you think he's going to get up to when we do end up following him, feel free to do so because I would love to see exactly what you guys think the character is going to do because personally when I think about Trevor I think about all these crazy things he's done and by following him and watching him when we're not using him, this is just going to be an entire new perspective into the character and we might even discover quite a few things about him. So this is just going to be awesome, I'm really excited to get into things. So where am I going? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just driving away. <laughs> I can imagine following Trevor and he just goes on a rampage and gets a wanted level and stuff like he does some crazy things. So we're just going to go and swap over to him now. I'm going to park my car here. We're going to swap over to Trevor to locate him. So where is he? Oh, he's in a park. He's he's sitting. Yeah, for example, he does crazy stuff like this. Like, I didn't even know what he was doing. And we just cut to him, and he's in this park already keeling over. Okay, I can see him. I can see him, guys. I can see him. Trevor is right there in the field. What are you doing, Franklin? He's doing donuts. What are you doing, buddy? What is that? What? You gotta calm down. You gotta calm down, man. Wait for your episode. There we go. Trevor's now walking, guys. So I'm gonna get inside my car, and now we're gonna follow him. That's all we're gonna do. And we're just gonna see exactly what he gets up to. Oh, wait, he's waiting. He's waiting at the crossing. Okay. This is so weird, just watching Trevor. So this is what's gonna happen, guys. I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna play some music and we're gonna see exactly what Trevor gets up to and something else Which I would love to do I might do this in this episode is just leave Trevor in compromising and hostile Situations and then swap to another character to see exactly what he does So I think we're gonna do that afterwards But for now we're just gonna follow him to see exactly what he gets up to around the city and around Los Santos Let me know in the comments section below exactly what you think is going to happen to Trevor and what you think he gets up to When we're not using him, but let's just do this and I'll see you guys very very soon. Let's go
been following Trevor for about 15 minutes or so, and so far we haven't seen him do anything crazy, which is really interesting. And that is exactly why you don't want to go too close to Trevor, guys. So that's why we had to keep our distance beforehand. But don't worry, we're going to go into challenge number two, and this is to put Trevor in a hostile and compromised situation to see exactly what he will do there. So I think what we're going to do is start some sort of gang attack or something, or start some sort of confrontation with Trevor, and then go over to Franklin to see exactly what happens. So in order to do this, let's go over to Grove Street, because that should be a very easy place to start this up. If we were following Trevor at this point, then we would have seen exactly what went on here. And imagine if we just encountered this by walking underneath the docks, and I'm pretty sure a few of you guys have said you have. You just walk underneath the docks in story mode, and suddenly you see Trevor there with some random dude tied to a pole. So this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to start a confrontation on Grove Street, and we're going to see what happens when we swap over to Franklin, when everyone starts piling in on Trevor, and we're going to see if Trevor will then turn into a maniac, or whether Trevor will run away, away from anyone trying to get him. So comment in the comments section below what you think Trevor's going to do, but let's just start this confrontation right now. So, RPG? I love how Franklin's just chilling there, like, eh. <laughs> RPG, that's chill. What is Franklin doing? Is he eating or something? Yes, okay, so now we have a confrontation, guys. We have this guy coming at me. He's a red dot on my radar as well. And as you can see, he's trying to get me. So let's go over to Franklin and see what Trevor does. Will he run away or will he just go absolutely savage on this guy? So let's go over to Franklin now. What's gonna happen? Trevor's ra he ran away! Trevor ran away! Look at this! That guy's going savage on him and Trevor is running away from him. What? I wasn't expecting that. That guy, <laughs> that guy, that guy just got run over and he's sitting in the road and Trevor is still legging it. He's gone all the way up the street. What? There he is, guys. He's coming back by the looks of things. Oh no, he's still running. He's still running away. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting that at all and I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys weren't expecting that as well. Like, who expected Trevor to run away from someone confronting him in GTA 5? I definitely wasn't. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys weren't as well. So I've got two other things I want to try out with Trevor. The first thing we're going to do is leave Trevor in just individual situations, like stuff where he has to make a decision by himself. So a great example of doing this is going to a barber's shop or going to a hairdresser and then asking them to cut your hair. Before you choose the hair option you want to choose, you then swap over to Franklin or to Michael and let Trevor make that decision by himself. So that's what we're going to do first. So let's go over to a hairdresser's now and see exactly what Trevor chooses when he's in the barber's shop. Oh, Oh, yes, boys. There's one right next to us. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to quickly go over to Franklin and we're going to take Franklin to this location. So if I just chill here or something and then we go over to Trevor and then get a haircut. Why are these guys looking at me? <laughs> Why is everyone looking at me? How's it going? I want a haircut. Come on, give me a haircut. Does anyone ever use this one? I've never seen this one before. I love how you can go into a barber shop and come out with more hair. But I'm going to go into my object spooner. We're going to leave this location and we're going to go over to Franklin. Become this pedestrian. So there we go. I've now become that pedestrian. Oh my gosh. What? That is so glitchy. That is so glitchy. We just teleported Franklin over to the seat. But look, Trevor is still in there. Trevor's still getting his haircut. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. Trevor is getting his haircut by himself. What are you going to get, Trevor? What are you going to get, buddy? Can I just, can I sit down? <laughs> what are you going to get, man? Are you enjoying your haircut? Oh my gosh. I, I, this, what? this is so weird. So we just swapped over to Franklin's pedestrian. And now we're looking at Trevor. And he's just sitting in the hairdressers, waiting to get his haircut. Let's see what happens if we get a haircut. We're just going to sit back down into Trevor. What? This is so weird. We have totally glitched this out. But Trevor is not making a decision. He's not making a decision for himself whatsoever. We're going to go into the final challenge, guys. And this is to simply follow Trevor when he's inside a vehicle to see exactly where he drives to. This will, of course, broaden the amount of destinations he can get to than what we saw when he was walking around. So let me quickly go over to Trevor. We're going to go over to our Bodhi and then we're going to start driving around, guys. So where is the Bodhi? How's it going, Ron? How's it going, buddy? <laughs> you having fun taking out those bowls? Are you going to get it? Are you going to get it? Go on. Go on, Ron. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. You can do this, man. You can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you, Ron. I believe in you, buddy. Come on. You can do this. Oh, man. I don't think he's up for it, guys. I really don't. <laughs> we'll leave him to take out that bottle another day. <laughs> But, okay, this is my personal vehicle by the looks of things. I don't know where my Bodhi's gone. But we've got this one now, so uh, that's all good. Let's just, uh, let's go back over to Franklin now and see exactly what Trevor gets up to on his ruffian. So, where is he? If we just look behind us. Oh, he's moving about now. He's moving about. He's got his helmet on. And we're going to see exactly where he goes to, guys. So, let's just follow Trevor and see exactly where he goes to on his ruffian. Let's play some music. Let's speed this up. And let's see where he goes to, guys. Let's do this. <laughs>
is this guy? This guy was running out of Trevor's garden. What are you doing, buddy? Who is this guy? This guy was inside Trevor's house and he did not seem to care. Okay. <laughs> There was a guy inside Trevor's garden. I have no idea what that was about. But I just decided, you know what, guys? Trevor's been going around in circles for quite a while now. I'd say about five minutes or so. And he hasn't done anything different. He's just gone around in those circles, around the block, over and over again. So I guess it's fair to say, if you were to follow Trevor around GTA 5, he wouldn't be as crazy as you would expect him to be. But he's still pretty crazy. For example, if we left him inside a confrontation, he would just run away from that guy. And he would not return. He would run away until that guy just did disappeared off his radar. So Trevor is very, very hostile when you're using him, but when you're not, he is a totally different character and it's really interesting to see and to watch and follow as well in GTA. And is that him there? He's just driving back. <laughs> have fun, Trevor. Have fun, buddy. But as you can see, he just went back and forth and back and forth. And I can imagine he's going to do that quite a bit if we were to follow him even more. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. But if you would like to see me do another episode with Franklin or Michael, make sure you guys do smash that thumbs up button. I would love to see exactly what the these guys are like when they're by themselves and when they're not being controlled by anyone else. So I think that will make an absolutely great episode. I think we'll be able to learn a lot more about these characters. But from what we found in today's video, Trevor is a totally different character when we're not using him, which is a really interesting. So I guess we're going to find out exactly what's happened to Franklin and Michael in a future episode. And let me know in the comments section below exactly which character you would like to see me follow next. But this was still awesome. I'm so glad we did this. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do end up subscribing to channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis and let me know in the comments section below who you would like me to do next and any other ideas videos or challenges you would like to see me do on this channel and you never know guys your idea might make it into another video i know loads of you guys were asking me for this video and i hope you guys did enjoy this thank you so much for watching but my name is nort and until next time stay absolutely awesome i'll see you guys in the next video